This is a truth that I really want women to hear me on. Men, young, old, little boy, whatever, they are always going to be primarily concerned with the way a woman shows up to the world aesthetically first. The way that she shows up in the world physically, not counting her intrinsic value, her intangible values, intelligence, spirituality, none of that is going to take precedence over the way that that woman looks and the way that that woman shows up to the world. This is going to be the barometer in which this man gauges whether or not he's going to take you seriously, whether or not he is going to date you, whether or not he is going to take you out in the broad of day light, okay? This is really, really important to understand and digest. I know it's not the easiest thing to hear, but here we are. And I think it's relative. My name is Fallon Favors. Thank you for joining me for another episode. Now, again, I know this can be jarring. And a lot of times what I find with women is that considering that I am one, okay, I've been through the experience. I feel like I have a license to speak on it. We do not take the truth very well. We have a hard time. We have a, we have a very interesting relationship with the truth, okay? And sometimes facts, logic, statistics, what really is for face value, the black and white of things, we're creatures that believe and exist in a lot of nuance and gray and things are emotionally based and premised. And sometimes that is the way that we show up as far as how we look at certain situations and identify with certain situations. There is the law of balance that is really important. So while we, while we exist in that feminine energy and that's where we pull all of our power from, it is just as important for us to ensure that we have that balance to the femininity with the masculinity. We are using our logic, we are using our common sense to approach certain topics and situations, especially as it pertains to those that deal with the opposite sex, which would be men, obviously. So in addition to our very unique relationship with the truth, there are instances where women are not really hearing men when they tell us what it is that they are looking for when it comes to partnering. One of the biggest mistakes that we make as women is equating our values to the values of a man. I think that's really important for us to understand just as a base, base foundation. We are very, very different creatures. Our anatomy is different, the way that our you know, chemical makeup, our body composition, everything about us, God has made us so different in order to be able to merge in a way that comes together in such a beautiful way. There is, there's so much power when the masculine and the feminine come into contact with each other and are working harmoniously together, but we cannot get it twisted and feel like these are the same because they're not. And oftentimes we scrutinize men for their value system because it's not the same value system that we use. On average, although, especially in today's time, women have become very picky, okay, about the certain uh, physical qualities that a man has to have in order for them to be interested. Of course, height has always been a thing. I think that has more to do with the need to feel protected, the need to feel safe, you know, and that don't necessarily mean that you're gonna feel safe because the dude could be six foot five and still be a buster, but, the physical, you know, at least to ward off predators, right? You know, that, that could definitely be a plus. But when it comes to men, one thing that we do not want to acknowledge, we don't want to admit, we don't want to hear men when they're telling us this. And even through their nonverbal cues, even if you're paying attention and you're actually seeing what men respond to, even just from an observer standpoint, men are physical creatures not even in the way that they look at dating us but just in general men need to exert a lot of energy physically men typically on average again we're not speaking in absolutes but men want to go out they want to play basketball they want to do sports they want to do running physical activities they want to fight each other even little boys you'll see them tussling around the yard while little girls on average are maybe doing some more other engaging activities that that are more stimulating to their mind or that lend to their maternal instincts and things like that. So when it comes to what they deem as important when they're dating a woman, a lot of it does have to do with the way that the woman looks. And the reason why I wanted to have this conversation today is not to point that out, but just to kind of preface what we're gonna talk about with that. There are going to be so many women 
in this world that are prettier than you, that show up and stunt harder than you on the physical level. They face card may be hitting more than you. That body might be hitting more than you. This is a reality that we need to face. We don't want to really delve into that. The reason why also I have videos on this, you guys can check, check back through some of my old videos in the Love Life playlist. And I talk about how Kevin Samuels, it's kind of like using a swear, a swear word or a cuss word if you use the word Kevin Samuels, but Kevin Samuels would have women rate themselves on a scale from one to 10, excluding the number seven, because most women will rate themselves as at least middle, middle grade, middle, you know, or average, because they don't want to be below average. The reality is, Based on, and I think this is important to consider as well if we're talking about aesthetics, based on what culturally the collective sees as beautiful. Now, you in your own mind, you in your own valuation of yourself can feel like you a dime. And I think that that is, you know, I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that because confidence is key. You want to be able to look up your look at yourself and feel good about yourself and you have to be your number one advocate and your number one fan. So if you feel like you a dime, you could be a dime, even if you 400 pounds. If you feel like you a dime, you a dime. I'm not going to hate on that. However, okay, when we're talking about the realities of life, we live in a 3D world. We live on planet Earth <laughs> and there are certain social rules that have been imposed in a lot of cases and scenarios on us as to what is attractive and what is not. So the cultural collective has a certain view of what they think attractive is. And there's a grading scale as it pertains to that. So I think racially, sometimes there can be some nuance there where, um, you know, one culture may see beauty in this way. And in another culture, we see beauty in another way. If we're talking about African people of African descent we tend to have a certain aesthetic that we you know deem as beautiful and I think that that scope has widened over the years thankfully generationally we've kind of broken out of a lot of mentalities that were not as healthy dealing with colorism um, hair situations and grades and good hair and all of that stuff so we have had to climb some mountains and <laughs> to get past some very um, archaic modes of thinking However, I think the biggest thing when it comes to aesthetic and judging where you fall, a lot of it has to do more on symmetry, the symmetry of your face, the symmetry of your body. If we break it down scientifically, there are certain, if, if we're talking about even just balance, right? How is your face balanced? That's what symmetry is, right? How is your face in, in proportion to the other parts of your face? How is your body in proportion to the other parts of your body? And those are the things I think that we think of instinctually and biologically what we find attractive and what we can say is attractive or what is not attractive. So that kind of is what it is. I don't know if there's a lot that we can do to change that, but that is the barometer that most men are using as well. And because men are left brain, it's a lot of logic. It's a lot of black and white. They're saying, OK, well, this looks good. To, this looks good to me. This one doesn't. I don't have to think too much about it. I can kind of trust my instinct and my gut that when I look at this woman, I'm attracted to her. When I look at her, I'm not. <laughs> and I guess fortunately or unfortunately, when you're meeting him in your mind, you may have other, again, physical things that you may be looking for, but in comparison to what he's going to be looking for physically, especially the more money this man has, the more successful he is, the more accomplished he is, the more the other intrinsic values matter too, right? Um, if he is really convicted in who he is as a person, if he has done a lot of soul work, if he has done a lot to really make himself a well-rounded individual, in a lot of cases, I would say almost all, again, I don't wanna speak in absolutes, but the greater majority of men are going to be focused on that symmetry and that aesthetic culturally that we all kind of use as a barometer to gauge who is attractive and who is not. So again, fortunately or unfortunately, you may be behind the curve. I don't ever have a conversation or a talk about anything without coming up with a solution because we could talk about the problems all day. What are going to be the solutions? And the reason, again, why I wanted to do this video is you need to find out what your it quality is. 
there is always going to be a woman that is prettier than you. There is always going to be a woman that shows up and turns heads where maybe you were turning heads just five minutes ago. She walks into the room and now everybody's eyes are on her, right? This is just kind of how we are made biologically. We are all visual creatures. So this just gets you through the door. So if you can get yourself through the door because you look a certain way, this is also the reason why women that are very high on the food chain, as far as aesthetics, are able to date the athletes, the, the, the movie stars, the men that make a lot of money, the, the scientists, the engineers, the lawyers, the doctors. These are gonna be the women that attract these type of men because they're at the, the height of the food chain. This is gonna get them through the door because a man is going to react organically however his body instinctually desires to react based on how that woman looks. And so it's gonna get them through the door, but it doesn't ensure that they are going to stay there. It doesn't ensure even that they're going to get a commitment. There are a lot of women that because they are so beautiful aesthetically and have been given so many things and so many allowances and, and, and golden tickets in life, they really don't lack, excuse me, they lack a lot of the social skills. They lack a lot of the class, the tact, the feminine energy. They lack a lot of the intelligence, the intellect, the wit, the humor, the conversational skills. They don't really have the full basket, okay? They come into the door and they do have a lot of the physical attributes, but they don't really have a lot to lean on once that gets them through the door. And so they end up in the single pool with women that may not be as physically attractive and are in the same boat and not able to find someone to partner with based on that either. What that means for you and why that's good news for you is because you can find whatever it is that your it quality is. It does not have to be physical. Now, let me also say, you should always be trying to look your best, not for anybody else, but for you. The reason why is because it is going to instill so much confidence within you. You are going to lead with so much confidence. And to be quite honest, yes, there is a hierarchy as far as women and who looks, I mean, cause everybody not Holly Berry, for example, okay? Everyone is not Beyonce. Everyone is not Rihanna. Everybody is not Holly Berry again. These women have kind of hit the genetic lottery, but confidence, is going to reign supreme every single time. Any man will tell you that, while any man will also say, yes, I like women that are beautiful. They're always gonna say, you know, but a woman that is confident, a woman that believes in herself, a woman that is convicted with who she is, that is very, very attractive. So that's definitely something that you wanna focus on. Make sure that you feel good in your own skin. Make sure that you are the healthiest that you can be at the moment. Does that mean you have to be a size two? No. Does that mean that you wanna make sure that you are walking you know, a little bit throughout the week if you can, or trying to take the stairs, parking a little bit further away from the store, and taking care of your skin, your teeth, your hair, your nails, grooming, basic grooming. Those things help you to feel more confident about yourself and to show up the best way that you possibly can. And that's more about you and less about trying to impress anybody else but yourself. What is your it? Are you insanely smart? Did you graduate top of your class? Are you that smarty pants girl that can get through a whole book within the matter of 48 hours and talk about it and have context and talking points? That is a really valuable asset to have. Okay, do you have the ability to be able to work with children in a way where they just naturally flock to you? You come into a room full of kids, bad at, you know, little kids, running around everywhere, acting crazy, and no relation to them, but when you walk in the room, there's a calm that falls over the energy of these baby spirits. And you have an ability to be able to see them in a way where they see you and there's like a divine thing happening. Do you have that gift? Do you have the gift of throwing down in the kitchen? Is that your it? Can you put so much love and infuse so much beautiful energy into a meal that you prepare for someone that they feel it on a soul level when they ingest and actually consume your food? That's what you want to lead with. Forget all that being humble. Forget all of that being humble and, oh, well, I don't like to talk about it or I don't, you know, I'm not a bragger. And I'm talking to myself. We got to step out of that. 
that ha- we have to go ahead and let that go. You need to big, 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 big brag on yourself. And that's again where some of that polarity comes in with the masculine, and the feminine energy. It is okay to brag on yourself. It is okay to brag on yourself. It is okay to pump your own self up again, confidence, self-assertion, loving yourself, believing in yourself. It's okay. And so once you know that that, and because I'm telling you, the girls that they got the physical attributes, they not playing fear. Baby, when they beat that face down, when they put that skin tight dress on with that body, audi, audi, and they outside, they not playing fair. They not playing fair, baby. They playing to, for, to win, okay? They playing for keeps and they're playing to win. So if you are willing to compete, not against them, but with yourself and asserting yourself again, based on what it is that you may want, this is if you are looking to partner, because you may not even care, right? So this might not even be relative for the girlies that could care less about mating with a man. I'm giving you this game and this information because this is the way that men think. So we can't pretend that they think like us and try to move through getting one based on what we feel is best. No, we have to kind of play the game. You don't have to play it fair. You can go full-fledged into whatever it is that your gifts are, whatever it is that makes you special. If you have long, flowing, luxurious hair that you have really maintained and spent time on and babied and nurtured, that isn't it. If you have beautiful skin, if you work night and day to make sure that you're doing your extractions, you are doing your facials, you're doing your steaming, you're doing, you don't sleep in your makeup and all of those things and you t- and you have taken pride in that and you have beautiful skin, that could be your it. Whatever it is, you need to find it because those are going to be the cards that you play. Those are going to be the cards that you put down when you're at the table ready to bet. Keep all of those things in mind and don't be discouraged or thrown off with the idea and the knowledge that men have given us if we would actually again take the time to listen that they are always going to see the physical and care about the physical first. They're always going to see that. So if you are your best self, if you are groomed, if you are confident, You may even be able to get in on the same level as a woman that looks, you know, culturally what they say is looking better than you. And I think it's okay to admit that, you know, do Holly Berry, is Holly Berry looking for the majority of us? Yes. In her heyday? Yes. Holly Berry was the only woman that could play Dorothy Dandridge, which of her day, she was the most beautiful. Everybody don't, everybody didn't come out like that. Everybody not hitting them like that. What is your it? What makes you special? What are you going to lead with? What is going to stand out for you? What is going to make that person that's special for you recognize you as a special person as well, irregardless of how you look? Really, really important to take heed and to consider that. And I also want to mention, again, this is for my girlies that really are interested in finding someone of the opposite sex. They looking for a man, masculine energy, what have you, and they may have hit some roadblocks or some stumps in the road and they really don't understand why I'm showing up as this, I'm showing up as that. Let me tell you what does not matter. Men have said this ad nauseum, but I'm gonna mention it to you today just to kind of validate and enforce so that you really hear and understand what men are not checking for, they don't care about. Where you graduated from college. How much money you make per year. What kind of sorority you've attached yourself to and what networks you've been able to accumulate as a result. What your GMV was for the year for a brand new business that you started. While those may be interesting talking points and things to kind of discuss once you get to know this person, it's not gonna get you in the door, baby. It's not going to be what leads a man to wanting to get to know you. And it sucks, I understand that. It, it's. Something I think is so hard for women to understand is just how different we are from them. And men go through the same thing too when it comes to emotional things, the way that we process information, the way that we would rather handle a situation. In a lot of instances, in a lot of cases, they may be looking at us like, well, why you just can't think like that? That doesn't make sense. And they just don't understand because their emotional intelligence may not be as high. So it goes both ways, but those are not gonna be the things, baby, that get him excited, that get him walking through, the, that get you walking through the door. And it doesn't matter. All of those things that you're mentioning, the fact that you're a homeowner, 
that you drive this kind of car, most men of means that are going somewhere that actually care about themselves in a way that they show up for themselves and can support themselves, they don't care. They don't care. It's icing on the cake, but it's not the cake. It's not the ingredients. They are primarily looking for what you look like, how you're showing up. What does that face look like? What does that body look like? And then from there, (laughs) the possibilities are endless. And if you can show up as your best self for yourself and not lead with the other things that are more of the material world that may not be as of much value and you use those as added influences to further prove your character, your dazzle, the things that make you special. In addition to whatever your it is, that is the way that you are going to shine and beat out the competition. So hope this video helped. Hope this video made sense to you guys. Make sure to drop in the comments if you understand where I'm coming from. Have you ever felt like you knew, okay, this girl giving me a run for my money. I know she, you know, the way that that face and all of that is is set up and and put together. I'm gonna have to come with some other things. If we're honest enough to kind of have that conversation, drop it down in the comments. Also, I would love to know what you feel your it quality is do a hashtag it let me know what your it quality is i'm very interested to see and we all have it and if you don't really know what yours is drop that in the comments too and i will help you figure it out we will come up with something it's really important for you to know that and i think that that will build so much confidence within you not only in relationships just life in general so Love you guys. I will see you next week. Thank you for joining me. And yeah, make sure to follow, like, subscribe, all of that stuff. Share. Love you.